Hey Pisces, how you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energies. And let's see what is going on. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. We're going to check in in respect of your energies and how we can support your journey. So while this is a general read, we are going to do our best to get you a message or messages and hope hopefully this connects to your story and gives you the support that you need today all right let's check out what we need to know here so we've got attachment we had action showing up in the reverse there for a sec we've got caring connections fourth chakra healer of the ages Perhaps, you know, movement towards a connection that has been important to you or that you're connected to right now. You could be in question of whether to approach a certain situation or a situation, um, you know, is questioning whether to approach you here, Pisces. Um, but I can see that there's something that you're connected to or someone's connected to you. Obviously, this can be vice versa energy. Uh, I just feel like there's something here about the depths of something, what matters around the heart space, around the feeling, around a situation and the potential healing of something here with Healer of the Ages. I'm going to read the Healer of the Ages in a bit more detail to share um, some insight there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just getting a sense that there's something or someone you're connected to Perhaps there hasn't been movement, you're seeking movement or questioning, you know, which approach, which direction. So let's see if that does turn around where, you know, there is going to be potential progress here. Because there is something meaningful around the heart space that is showing up here. And something around healing, which kind of showed up yesterday as well. I get healer of the ages just to share more on that energy. So you can connect into that and see where this resonates for you. So this is talking about health and vitality. The power, this powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental and emotional ills helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now. You can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality, balance, or renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. And that's that's what I'm feeling here. There's something around a connection that around the heart space that I feel is, you know, some healing is needed here, Pisces. So whether this is healing of coming together or just healing purely of oneself, this is a powerful force that's showing up here because I can see there is or are some attachments regarding a connection and, you know, what potentially to do with this here. So let's dive in a little bit deeper and see what is going on for our Pisces. All right. Just check in. So let's get a little bit more on what this attachment energy is and what we need to know. So I've got Muse of Voices. So again, this is something about trying to get clarity and maybe making decisions, you know, from a, a headspace. Interestingly, we've got Muse of Emotions, Muse of Inspiration, wow, Temperance, and then the Devil Energy. Let's get one more and then we'll dive in. One more spirit.
Yeah, so there's something here, Pisces. I don't. It's interesting because I think uh, last week you had all these three king energies show up. I feel like someone's trying to find themselves here or trying to understand themselves. Again, something about which direction, which path and bringing something into balance, bringing something into healing. But I feel a part of this that there's a little bit of obsession in the way that something is being thought about. And I'm not sure if this is part of the attachment energy that's showing up here. And, um, you know, someone potentially looking at some action that they have taken, maybe they wish they didn't. Uh, but it seems to be around some connection here, some situation that is a matter of the heart, you know, and Healing wants to occur. But interestingly, I don't know if you've got many different masculine energies around you or that you're leaning into, or this is you really connecting in on a different level around your headspace, around your heart space and around your goals. So this could be a lot about, you know, what is next for you? And that's what you're trying to figure out. Maybe it's your direction. Okay. And on a higher level is what I feel because the muse energy is one of it's kind of like you're your own best friend here, okay? And you know the game here is about the one person that you're going to be with for the rest of your, of your life is you. And you know that if you want to play the ultimate game, so to speak, to live out your dreams, to live out the best version of yourself, the only way to do that is by rising up in terms of feeling, you know, I think from a, from a mental space, just feeling sound with where you're at. So I feel there's a lot of different things that you're maybe learning or connecting in about yourself right now. You might be going through lots of different things, lots of different emotions, lots of different ideas, lots of different things that are capturing your attention that you want to go after. But I feel that the key part here is that you want it to make sense. You want to do it with clarity. You want to do it with deep feeling. And importantly, you want to be really feel the ambition and fire and drive that comes with it. So sometimes too, you know, and I think we've spoken about this friend is that sometimes we're put in situations to really look within ourselves Sometimes we're around people or situations that keep us small, that keep us not performing to our potential. You know, some some connections can drain us. Some connections just aren't compatible, whatever that may be. But I feel like there's something here about this um, for you in particular. As I said, you could have lots of different masculine energies um, that you're connected to. These could also represent past relationships that you have had. And maybe there's something here to learn um, about yourself as well. But interestingly, the temperance energy is talking about balancing out. It's also talking about patience, timing, and then a process. So this could be part of the healing aspect if this is related to a specific connection. But importantly, you know, what's in your heart right now, Pisces? Where are you at right now? Because that's part of this, importantly, the evolution uh, of your own chapter and journey regarding a specific situation here. I just want to give a quick shout out too, by the way, for any birthday people for our Pisces. Um, I love birthdays. So I want to let you know I'm thinking of you. Let us know in the comments and because I want to give you a hug and shout out. Um, with the devil energy and page of voices, I think there's just something here that is very much on your mind. You might be really looking at something, researching something, watching something, someone or a situation quite intently here. Pisces, this could be about a situation you don't want to let go, something that you need to heal from. There's something here on a deeper level uh, around this devil energy. But I mean, you've got air energy, you've got water energy, you've got Capricorn showing up. You've got fire energy showing up. So there's a lot of energy here, that is for sure. But let's dive in a bit deeper and see what this is. Share more on the Muse of Voices Spirit and what we need to know for Pisces. So we've got the Ace of Voices and the Eight of Emotions. So there's something here about getting clarity on a situation and I feel too you know the ace of voices is also 
with clarity, there's some truth about moving on from something here or letting go of something here with this attachment energy, because I feel, you know, being a number five, that's also showing me that there's change, but there's also something that has been lacking or that has been kind of um, drawing the energy out of you, Pisces. So there's something here about some truth of moving on that, you know, may not be an easy thing to accept or want to do, but I feel like this is a powerful, um, a powerful realization that might be happening here or a situation that you're presented with that you may have to look at and what you actually want to do with it. If you want to go in a new direction, I do find it interesting that, um, we do have eclipse energy showing up as well. Uh, as mentioned in yesterday's read, we do have uh, an eclipse end of March, which is a lunar. And then we also have one, uh, I think it's April, around the 8th of April, which is uh, a solar eclipse. So I do feel there's something pretty uh, significant around that time. And because I believe they're in the south and north nodes, it could also be related to um, something in your life around potentially business. Uh, it could also be just in terms of things that and lessons you've learned and where you want to now go and where you now want to be. But I feel there's a key, key component in between those eclipsed energies, um, that will show up here for you. Interesting. We've got some more moon showing up with this muse of emotion. So there's definitely some emotions here. I feel deep emotions here that may be hidden or that you may be experiencing or intuitively you're feeling something, um, around maybe some choice, decision, action that you need to take. Let's get one more on this moon energy. Thank you, spirit and the sun. I mean, this is also divine feminine, divine masculine as well. Energy showing up with the moon and the sun. So this could be around a divine counterpart and what you want to do here, where you want to be. There's definitely something... Thank you, spirit. The aid of material. I just, I feel here with the these energies right now when connecting into it, there's something about, I feel that you're desiring or wanting here, but you're not potentially talking about, but it's something that, again, I just feel like there's something that has meaning here for you, especially with this muse of emotions. It's like, I don't know too, if you're waiting on someone to take some action towards you or you've been considering this yourself with someone. But um, yeah, this is kind of a yin-yang energy that's going on here, Pisces. With the Muse of Inspiration, you've got the Eight of Materials. So this could also be to around like I said, something that you're in pursuit of, something that you want to do, some energy that wants to be put into something, maybe even be put into you if this is about a connection. But whatever this is, this is like something or someone that is very, um, I say fired up in a way like they're clear to go a certain direction and what they're going after and what it is that they want. And it's like the, you know, I think we all know that actions speak louder than words. And I'm just getting a lot about the action here and looking at what that effort has been. Maybe again, there's some reflection regarding a connection or a situation that you may need to look at to assess a certain situation here. You know, what effort has been made? What effort expectations do you have? There's, there seems to be something here about a connection because it's showing right up here in the center. Uh, and it just, yeah, that's just kind of what it seems to want to express the emperor, uh, the empress, Paul, there you go. Um, the temperance energy with the nine of materials, um, you know, maybe that's where you're heading to Pisces is rocking the empress energy. But yeah, the eight of materials here, there's something, there's something evolving and something that you're really stepping into. And I don't know if you've been waiting, you know, to kind of, what I'm seeing is, is a book. It's like turning the next page, but more so a chapter and kind of rewriting your story in some regard. 
And a part of rewriting that story is also recognizing there's a process in everything. So if you are going through something around your heart space or around a connection, sometimes, you know, we want things to be here now, the healing to happen now, the, um, you know, the falling in love part now, meeting our soulmate now, like we all want it now, right? I think at the end of the day, it's like only if we could close our eyes, click our fingers, I don't know, breathe in, whatever it might be. And ultimately sometimes, you know, the part of the journey is the journey. And I feel there's something here about this journey that is putting you or catapulting you to a place of building a new strength, building a new independence, building new trust on yourself, on the possibilities and the capabilities that you have. And I feel this is really relevant right now with whatever is going on here. What do we need to know about the devil energy? We've got the magician and the queen of emotions. So when I see the devil energy with the magician, you know, that's a, there is a form of manipulation that's happening here or maybe happening or maybe you've recognized, but it's something to do around the heart space, especially with the queen of emotions. I mean, this is you Pisces right here. Um, Yeah, there's just something about maybe this is part of the healing journey is recognizing how much you gave to a situation. Maybe you depleted yourself in the giving of something. Um, you know, sometimes we don't realize with the way that someone shows up and uh, we only see it after it's kind of happened is that, you know, perhaps there was a connection that was meaningful to you. You were, you know, connected to it, attached to it. I think as in any relationship, you know, there, there's an attachment, um, you know, spiritually, soulfully, physically, whatever it might be. I just, the sense that I'm getting here at some point in time that you may have wanted to the way that you show up, put it this way, with your care, outdoing things to really try and perhaps change a situation, you may not be realizing, and I'm saying this with love, that you maybe wanted love naturally as part of who you are as a Pisces. You give a lot of love and you do that because that's who you are. But naturally you want it in return. Sometimes we don't realize that we're doing things in the hope that if we keep doing this, this will go, this person will care about me. This person will give back to me, this person, you know, and I feel what ended up happening here. It was this constant manipulation you were experiencing, trying to do and be and show up, but it ultimately drained you. And this may have, you know, impacted you, your heart, your soul in terms of this connection, but it could also be too that there's someone or a situation here. I'm just getting a little bit of obsession around around this. Um, of wanting something or wanting someone. And this someone showing up here is you, Pisces. I just feel like someone's recognizing something here. So let, let's dive in a bit deeper because I... I'm just getting a sense here that someone, you know, maybe didn't take action initially. Like I said, maybe you've been waiting for someone to take action. Maybe there was a bit of silence, but you guys are still connected. And then, you know, there's definitely some evolution here for, for people, for someone or for this connection, but on an individual level. And I think a part of this is people recognizing themselves but I feel any action that has been taken for some reason I'm kind of seeing it at a at a halt but in a sense a halt because there's something about this process that needs to take place and Again, I feel like someone is going to realize something. I guess that's what it keeps coming back around. It's like I'm seeing a process, seeing things done in a certain way. So it could be like you came into a connection or became aware of a connection and there was an intimate connection of some kind. You know, an intimacy doesn't necessarily mean sex, guys. It can mean like you had a wonderful friendship with someone. You know, you had a deep, you know 
connection with a yeah another figure but it doesn't necessarily mean it, it, it was like a loving relationship as in a spouse or boyfriend girlfriend maybe that was the case too but there's just something here that I feel there was some lesson in growing individually around this because I am seeing some form of divine connection at the same time but there's something about a process and someone coming into their own and I do feel at some point in time, someone walked away from a connection or got some clarity around moving in, into a new direction. But what I'm just seeing is, is that there's something here that is very energetically held onto. Um, but I feel like there's something that clearly needs to be healed here or something is transforming, but it's part of a process is what it keeps telling me. Page of Voices nine of emotions so this is about getting to some place of feeling content feeling happy feeling good about a situation or something here pisces what else do we need to know what else do we need to know ten of materials wow i mean Whatever healing is taking place, whatever is transforming here, whatever can be seen, whatever's understood here, I don't know if you are just getting maybe obsessed with your own healing, if you're like really focused on that, whatever, there's something here about someone's energy. And I think it's kind of coming on two parts because I think there's something that you're doing and I think there's a counterpart that you're connected to in some way, a friend, um, a close connection that there's something here about this page of voices with the devil energy of really like, it's kind of like a pathological thing or like an obsessive thing, like a repetitive behavior or something that someone is doing, checking something, looking at something. I mean, I don't know if so, like there's been any communication, um, but it's like someone keeps checking something, but I feel like is really thinking about you, maybe looking at things, going through things. There's something here about that, that I don't know what this, like what particularly this is, but it's like some healing needs to take place, which is going to be incredibly important. And I'm not sure what you're looking at or what's being looked at here, but what I can see is ultimately this healing and this transformation that's going to occur. It's like, I feel like what you once saw, you're going to start seeing things differently. It's kind of like, um, being confident and being clear on what actually does make you happy, what actually does allow you to feel whole and feel at home and feel cherished and feel supported. So I don't know. It's like there's a bit of a, a turning point, like a look around. Um, it's really interesting, the energy that's coming on through. This transformation, especially if you're attached to a connection that you really are desiring for some healing perhaps or wanting to come together around a situation, you might find Pisces that that's ultimately what you want or have been desiring. But the more work that you do on yourself, the more that you look at what effort and energy someone puts into there, the more that you look at you know what you desire and get clear on that, it's like when you start kind of putting it on paper and really looking at it, you're kind of like you know what, maybe I haven't been taking care of myself enough. I've been so focused on how they feel about me, you know, what I need to do to, you know, make this right, or I need to be patient with them and worry about them. And I think it just, it's, it's something that comes naturally to you because you're a caring person. You're a compassionate person. You're an understanding person. But what ultimately happens is that you lose yourself on the path and journey. And I kind of feel that's what's happening. But as, at the same time, it's like if this didn't happen, you wouldn't be able to grow and expand into the version that you are becoming right now. Because a part of this where you're becoming right now is this strong, um, just this strong independent person in a really good way. It's an independent person and in being like believing in yourself, being able to go after the things that you want, being able to, you know, be self-sufficient in many ways. And even when, you know, you may connect to this situation that has connected with your heart that you have deep feelings for, I think there's some, some things here that you just realize or just know that, you want to be fully embraced as you 
and you don't want to have to situations to have to be manipulated or, you know, to feel the love, if that makes sense. And there's just something about it, but I, I'm feeling a transformation, a transition into something. I don't know what this transformational transition is into something, but ultimately what I can see wherever it's going and wherever it's heading is to this, this 10 of materials and this nine of emotions. It's like being really clear on what these mean to you now and what it is that you want to heal from to get to to here because maybe you thought that's what you had but you didn't really have maybe that's what you wanted to believe you had but there was just these glimpses it wasn't like this long term sustaining care and appreciation and making everyone coming together and making it better it was like someone was just really good at taking and someone was really good at giving and then eventually you know the giver eventually goes well am I going to get anything here you know and you start seeing it but I think in some capacity you know it's day to night as well in addition to this and maybe you got extremes, I don't know, in terms of someone's care and love. Maybe sometimes it showed up. Um, maybe it's sometimes you wanted to believe that what that's what it was. Maybe there was part of your intuition is like, I know this person cares for me, but when am I going to feel it? When am I going to see it? When, I'm, when am I going to feel that force of it? So I don't know. It's like I feel like something has been kind of clouded in a way And for some of you that, you know, ultimately there can be a connection here that you've walked away from. Maybe this muse of voices that you got clarity. Okay, I need to walk away from. I, I have been attached. I want to move and walk away from this. And then there's this other element of, you know what, that there's this connection that's showing up here that is actually feeling, you know, wholesome. It's actually feeling, you know, there's depth there. And there could be question too, because this is your energy here with the moon. That's the feminine energy as well, Pisces. And then you've got this masculine force. So maybe for once, you know, you feel seen because I feel the sun shines lights on things, right? And maybe you don't feel you need to hide anymore who you are or what you feel or your intentions. And it's allowing you to embrace your vulnerability with this. And then it allows things to really spark up, okay, in terms of someone going, okay, I'm going to pursue. I want to pursue here. So there's kind of a couple of different stories, but I feel underneath it all, you could only get here by going through something pretty significant, which seems to be around a connection. But it's like the gateway, the doorway, the lesson of all this is opening up something new here for you that is like you can be yourself Pisces and receive the things that you've been wanting and desiring for some time. But there's still, there's something about time that's important, like I said. Um, and I think a key part is coming into your own, into your own freedoms, into your own independence, into your own strength. And until then, it's kind of like these are maybe parts that you work, need to keep working through because I do feel like there's something unhealthy that may have taken over a little bit that needs to be healed around your heart space, okay? Uh, and it could be, like I said, you just were really connected to this person and sometimes there's those, you know, unhealthy bonds, trauma bonds, whatever it may be. But I just feel like there was a bit of manipulation that kind of occurred with your care and kindness. Um, but ultimately, like I said, wherever you're going, whatever this transformative healing that's occurring things are going to become pretty clear and it's like you whatever you do next whatever you see next whatever you lean into next the action behind it or the intent behind it is going to be very clear you will be able to see and witness this to know okay this is healthy this is right this feels in alignment with where I'm going so that's what I've got for you, Pisces. I'm going to get uh, a couple of moon cards to see what advice we have. Let's see what we've got for you. All right, Pisces. Let's get some final messages and advice and guidance for our Pisces. OK, 
Okay. So we have got emotions are running wild. I was going to say running wild, <laughs> running high. Maybe they are running wild. Wow. Um, and then we've got um, show the world the real you and prosperity lies ahead. It doesn't matter what order these two come in. It's just a powerful force here. Um, you know, there could be something that is pretty electrically charged. Like I said, deeply felt here with this super moon energy. The moon is a lot about our emotions. It's a, you know, especially with a super moon, I think, you know, when we're also 70% water, um, you've got the ocean, 70% water, sorry, the ocean, the, the earth, let me get that right. So I feel like there's something here about being pulled towards something that is really deep for you. Okay. And this is what this could be. And it's a lot to experience, but interesting. We did say with, um, show the world, the real you, that there is a part of you that you get to be yourself, fully yourself. And when you get to be fully yourself, amazing things happens here, Pisces. And, you know, prosperity lies ahead is kind of letting us know this new beginning, wherever you're going next with this new moon in Taurus is quite grounding and setting, setting you up for this next chapter, which I feel is part of this temperance energy that timings involve. There's a certain process for the healing that takes place that gets you where you need to go. And there's just some things underneath that kind of need to be cleared out or potentially healed from a heart space that, that is attached. You know, it could be like certain situations or experiences that you've been through, but ultimately at the end of the day, this process, wherever you're heading, wherever you're going, there's a lot of greatness on the other side of this. So it's a journey, my friend, a real journey, but it looks like, you know, you're getting to the place here of truly transforming and healing from it. And I think there's just a few more things that you're identifying that's freeing you from, um, you know, whatever situation, manipulative situation, or, you know, just behaviors that you may recognize that you contributed to allowed things that you were trying to potentially do out of love, but it ended up not serving you, you know? So I'm going to leave that with you, dear Pisces, a whole bunch of love and support your way. And we'll speak soon. Happy birthday. Bye.